Today, we are rebuilding the oldest professional club in England, and that is, of course, not County. They were founded in 1872 and last won a major trophy in 1894. Yes, the 19th century. So we're here today in 21st century, 23-24. We're going to be picking up Not County in a 10-year football manager rebuild with three simple tasks. Number one is to improve the facilities, youth facilities, and youth recruitment here at the club back to being one of the best in the countries as it was in that 19th century you can see here on football manager they have a two and a half star training facilities one star youth facilities and a four and a half star silver youth recruitment so to get them back to the top they all need to be massively upgraded second is to win the oldest competition in england the fa cup the oldest club lifting the oldest competition for the second time since 1894 is absolutely pivotal and is my number one goal in this rebuild is to get the FA Cup back in Notts County hands. And finally, but no means least, is goal number three of getting Notts County to be Premier League winners. Now, we have got just 10 seasons to pick them up from League to the lowest professional division in England to get them up to that point of being Premier League champions. So without further ado, let's crack on. We are, of course, picking this up on the up-to-date January database. So as of the 1st of January, Notts County were sitting in fifth place in League Two on 42 points, just five points away from Wrexham in third place, and then beautiful automatic promotion places. So that is the goal for this season in League Two to break in to the automatic places and get Notts County back up at least to League One because the fact they were even in non-league football is quite something and quite the shock. But obviously they had the you know the great season last season with Wrexham, both going toe to toe at the top of the National League. They lost out on the trophy but ended up winning the playoffs which was just meant to be and as we sit here in the formation we're going to be using we're using the 4-2-3-1 that we always use but I've edited it quite a bit to make it more of a lower league system I've gone with wingers rather than inside forwards an attack midfielder on support wing backs on attack central defenders rather than ball players and right now in league two and league one is about getting the ball down the wings and whipping it in to our superstar and that is of course Macaulay Langston Staff. This guy is absolutely fantastic. He is extremely consistent. He is a leading lead one striker in League Two. Unbelievable. 15 finishing, 14 composure, 15 pace, 14 acceleration. And when you sort of look at them sort of stats also with 15 determination, you wonder how on earth this guy has not been picked up by a championship side at the very least. There was links to Wrexham in the January transfer window, but of course he stayed loyal to Notts County, the team that believed in him in 2022 after his season at Gateshead. And my God, am I happy with that? Because this rebuild would be a hell of a lot harder without Mr. Langstaff up front. We have got Aiden Stone in in goal, Brindley at right back, Warner and Cameron at centre back, Chickenson at left back, John Bostock and Matt Palmer in DM with Namane at right wing, Jody Jones at left wing, Dan Crowley in cam, and of course Langstaff up front. We've got an absolute legend of Dave McGoldrick here at the club as well. He can play in that cam role and up front for us if needed. And overall, the squad is actually very, very good for this league. They were predicted to come based on the season preview in third place this season, so automatic motion should be on the cards we have got obviously a lot of games before now and the end of the season it looks like they're coming off of a bit of you know a bit of upturn form at the end of december but december overall was not very good so hopefully we can pick this team up coming here in january and have a great run in for the end of season one so let's get right into it season one can we gain promotion to league two well this right here is quite a run of form just two losses in the second half of the season which of course led us not only to promotion from league two but winning the whole thing on 87 points level with AFC Wimbledon but top on goal difference thanks to that superstar Macaulay Langstaff and what's even better for Notts County is that little rivalry with Wrexham they've got going on Wrexham lost in the playoff final to Stockport got absolutely battered 4-1 so that is the end of the road here between Notts County and Wrexham hopefully we don't see them again and we can now peel away from them and go and make our own destiny but a fantastic season season like I said Macaulay Langstaff was absolutely pivotal in this season 24 games 20 goals and a 7.06 average rating he is 27 years of age so of course at the sort of in the prime of his career and not really where you go ahead and sign players but 
at this level of player there he is, there is simply no way we can look past Mr. Langstaff to be our leading striker for next season in League One, especially as he's already a leading League One player. But overall, a very, very good season. He wasn't the only absolutely fantastic player for us this season. Uh, Sam Oster, when he played, was brilliant. Richard Brindley was fantastic. Obviously, Langstaff was great. Dan Crowley in that can roll with 13 starts, three goals and three assists. Five goals and three assists from Amon Namame as well. But if we sort this by goals, it is very clear to see that Macaulay Langstaff was the absolute carrier of this squad, which is absolutely beautiful. Now, of course, as we've got the goals, we are looking to increase this reputation, train facilities, youth facilities, and youth cruisemen as we go through. So every single season, I'll be asking the board to go ahead and improve all of these, the finances, the networking, get the club to be in the best position it can be. Luckily, there's a little bit of money here at the club, £3 million in the bank, and uh, just £6 million in debt. So hopefully, it's not going to be too hard to go ahead and make money here at Notts County. If we go up through the leagues, hopefully we can progress that into some serious, serious cash. We have got £1.4 million in transfer budget and £5,000 in wage budget, which for me is absolutely pointless because I'm not going to be buying any players until we at least get probably to the championship. I really find you do not need to go ahead and sign players for money in League 2, League 1, and normally even the championship unless you're going for them playoff places. So we're going to be going ahead and trying to find some sort of under 23s that are going to be released from their club hopefully in the Premier League they're going to go ahead and be interested as you can see in the background I'm just showing you exactly how you go ahead and search for them uh, get players in that are doubtful go down them all and uh, try them all and see who comes in that is going to be the scouting and the way we find players for this season uh, just going down into the Premier League and hoping some of the wonder kids that are being released are going to be good enough to come into Notts County and perform in League One uh, so without further ado let's get right into it a very exciting first transfer window. We've managed to bring in a superstar winger to hopefully supply Macaulay Langstaff and that is Regis Endo on an ESC slot. He's a Malian international signed from a club in Portugal. No idea how he got up in our search criteria but we'll absolutely take it. He's just 23 years of age. He is on £2,000 per week but he has got 16 dribbling and 18 flair which is enough for me to go ahead and sign him. He's incredibly quick as well he does love big matches he's a little bit inconsistent but hopefully we can iron that out of him as we go through the season so welcome to the club Regis Endo and I'm not going to be going through every single signing because there'll be a hell of a lot you'll notice the team will change quite a lot in season sort of two three four and probably five as we go up into the top of the championship but another player I certainly want to go ahead and touch on is Sam Mather this guy has been released from Manchester United and is a fantastic young winger that you guys should be going ahead and trying to pick up on your saves again incredible dribbling flair and pace a left winger rather than a right winger and suits us down to a t uh, just on 450 pounds a week as well i am very excited to have sam mather here at the club but he actually makes the squad look incredibly incredibly strong we're going to change formation slightly down to a 4 3 3 everything the same just dropping the attack midfielder down to a center mid on attack we should hopefully allow dan crowley to play a bit more in his natural position. The team is still Aidan Stone in goal, Lewis Macari and Greenwood at right back and left back. Greenwood, a brand new signing, 22 years of age, looks absolutely fantastic. Baldwin and Cameron at centre backs with Palmer, Robertson and Crowley in midfield. Jody Jones, Regis and Doe and McCauley Langstaff up front. And as you guys know, I like to make my teams in 11s and 11s. So backup goalkeeper of Slocum and Namane is the backup right back is absolutely fantastic because he's basically a winger but playing as a wing back on attack I can get down with that one Sean Grahan and Alex Kirk Alex Kirk a brand new signing here at the club released I believe from Arsenal looks very very good to 21 years of age Chickson as the backup left back Bacharami and Bostock as the backup DMs with Dave McGoldrick transitioning into his older years as a backup central midfielder Sam Austin as the backup right winger Sam Mather as the backup left winger and Dylan Stevenson as the backup to Macaulay Langstaff is again another brand new signing he is quick he can finish and again just 21 years of age should hopefully be a very very good player for us in terms of the league this season we are predicted to be in 14th place which I think is a fantastic starting position for our first season back in league one which I'm very very happy with QPR 
Rest in peace, QPR. Sheffield Wednesday and Rotherham have all been relegated from the Championship. Mansfield, us, Stockport and Wimbledon are the teams that got promoted. So let's see what we can do for Season 2. The big story of this season was Macaulay Langstaff and not for the same reasons as last season. This season, sadly, he managed to get a big old injury. Damaged cruciate ligaments has been out for over six months already and missed the second half of this League 2 season. But that didn't stop the mighty magpies from having a fantastic season here in league one and you join me in the playoff semi-final here against charlton we're in leg one robertson puts us a goal ahead before campbell whips a ball into miles laburne and i believe george dobson pokes home for one all dan crowder gets on the ball and find greenwood out in the 62nd minute down the left hand side pings the ball into the box and deflection ends up finding the back of the net and we're going to go ahead and take full control of this one as crowley drives into the box on that right foot and smashes at home for 3-1 in the first leg setting up a very exciting second leg at Charlton at the Valley and when we got off to a absolutely fantastic start Badrani back into Brini a ball in the box it pops out to Greenwood and it's 4-1 on aggregate and you must be thinking it's all over Notts County are in the finals of the playoffs well Thierry Small has got something to answer that and Romain Sawyer's pokes at home to make it 5-2 on aggregate Mendes Lang to the right hand side five George Dobson into Sawyers, back into Don Ball to make it 4-3 uh, even. And it's starting to get a little bit nerve-wracking. In the 67th minute, Thierry Small and Blackett Taylor are going to link up to make it 4-4. Four, four. And would you believe it? We have absolutely bottled it here at the Valley. A ball on the lines of Phillips in the 104th minute. And Carnu nods it home to make Charlton 4-1 winners on the day. And 5-4 winners on aggregate to beat Notts County in the playoffs. It's absolutely heartbreaking. I mean, I can't believe it has gone down to that one. And as you look actually at the league table, they even lost to Derby, even though they were the better team in the league. We were lucky to be in the position we were in. We got 79 points, just a point ahead of Reading on 79, uh, finishing in sixth place, meaning we were the worst team in the playoffs. It would have been a little bit cheeky to go ahead and get promoted and maybe a season too early. But, you know, a very good season. We were predicted to come down in 14th and getting into the playoffs was a surely a big success especially with Macaulay Langstaff missing average ratings wise Sam Mather dropped a 7.28 in just 11 starts where he scored 12 goals and got three assists and a 7.27 average rating it was a massive massive part and why the end of the season didn't absolutely fall off even without our superstar Mr Langstaff because Stevenson had to end up going up front Regis Endo got the joint most assists in the league on 13 overall 12 goals and 15 assists in 46 appearances and again was a massive massive player for us this season now worth 1.6 million pounds and a really really good sign on a free signing to bring someone in from portugal again no idea how we found him but an absolute signing nonetheless so what i'm absolutely buzzing with uh, still in the season mccoy langstaff was very good was only two goals away from being our top goal scorer 13 goals and three assists he didn't struggle with the step up to League One. Dylan Stevenson was a good enough backup with 15 goals and two assists. Scott Robertson, again, very, very good in central midfield. 14 goals and 14 assists is absolutely outrageous. Uh, did we sign this guy or has he been here the whole time? He's been here the whole time. An unbelievable performance from central midfield. He actually played in DM, I imagine, as a ball winner on support and was unbelievable. I've never seen a ball winner with 14 goals and 14 assists. So a ridiculous season from Scott Robinson uh, Aaron Namane as the right wing back as I mentioned is absolutely brilliant 9 goals and 14 assists Jody Jones 6 goals and 10 assists as well and I'm very very happy with how he went ahead and progressed in that season given the sort of you know the troubles we had to come up against losing our superstar striker and arguably our best player the first sort of youth intake has come through we've had 4 semi decent players come through 4.5 star slash 3.5 star potential down in league 1 it's probably going to be a decent championship player so Malik Piszczek James Edwards David Jones and Jason Harrington we shall keep an eye on them at just 15 and 16 years of age hopefully we go ahead and bring them up in the first team let them train with the senior lads
lads and hopefully still get game time in the under-21s because for me that is by far the best way to improve your wonder kids that come through your academy get them training with the best training facilities that you can do and obviously for us that is two star training facilities only one star youth facilities so rather than train in them NAF youth facilities bring them up to the first team get them training in men's football and make sure you set them available to play in under 21s or under 18s matches depending on their ability I'm very happy with season two let's get straight in to season three finances wise again it's more about the wage budget rather than transfer budget we are going to struggle to bring in many players this season we've got a negative wage budget and not a lot of transfer budget and that is because we've only got 2.8 million pounds in the bank and the debt is still at around that 6.7 million pounds so maybe finances aren't quite as good as I hoped hopefully we can raise some money in some way and maybe build a strong enough squad to leave league one in season three well it was clear to see a rotational striker was needed to come in and back up McCauley Langstaff in case he got injured again so welcome in Nathan Young Coombs at just 22 years of age has been released from his contract over at Brentford I believe he signed there from I think Chelsea or maybe even Rangers and that was a few loan spells ago but a fantastic player that's been at quite a few clubs at just 22 years of age he's got great determination great pace and great finishing and can really be a massive asset in a league like League One so welcome in Nathan hopefully he can be an absolute superstar a player that I have signed in a Premier League campaigns for teams as a backup left back but for us it's going to be an absolute superstar is Dylan Williams another one from the Chelsea Academy this guy looks fantastic a potential of four and a half stars potentially championship standard like I said I've seen this guy at Premier League level so hopefully that's what we can get out of him he can play all the way to the left hand side and similar to the Mame, can be a very good attacking wing back 18 determination great pace decent crossing and dribbling but very good defending as well for a five foot nine left back going through the Chelsea Academy I'm hopeful he's gonna be a superstar and the last one to really touch on is our brand new goalkeeper Eddie Beach this guy looks very very decent he looks very young in his picture but for us he's just 21 years of age he's six foot five an absolute mountain mountain of a man with great area reach good handling good passing good determination concentration and 17 jump and reach and he's also consistent and which for a keeper of 21 years of age is absolutely fantastic and guess where he's from the Chelsea once again he was through the Southampton Academy but he's obviously gone ahead and been there he played 15 games in League One this season 21 the season before that so it's clearly you know a decent League One goalkeeper at the very minimum and for us hopefully he can be an absolute superstar and it means our team is now looking like so Mr Beach in goal James Sweet at right back who is a brand new signing who looks absolutely brilliant can play central midfield all players are very good right back on attack uh, Baldwin and Cameron at centre back still Cameron been here from the very start an absolute legend who looks brilliant so we'll be keeping him around Greenwood at left back Matt Palmer and of course Scotty Robinson in DM. we've moved Dan Crowley back up into Cam this season with Jody Jones on the right Regis and Doe on the left and Macaulay Langstaff here on the 25th of July just a day away from kicking off the season is back in the squad which is great to see he is still recovering but within the next four weeks in two months which will be an 11 month injury he'll be back so Nathan Young Coombs might be able to get his nose in in that striker role Dylan Berry in goal Nemane at right back Sean Grahan and Alex Kirk at centre back Dylan Williams at left back Bajarami and Egan Riley in DM Sam Austin Ethan Ennis Sam Mather and Nathan Young Coombs as the backup 11 I am very excited for our chances in League One this season as we look into the season preview last season it was 14th this season we've taken a massive ride up to 13th so not the greatest of rises but I think we've made the squad stronger and we've obviously progressed in age a year so hopefully the players are brought in last year are going to be an even better quality so let's see if we can get out of league one in season three well this season resulted in playoffs yet again and this time we're the ones that face up against Stockport rather than Wrexham down in league two which should be good fun because they're a club which are coming up with us well you can see we took an early lead before Gomez is going to go ahead and get one back for Stockport in which was a fantastic first leg away against Stockport. Regis found Crowley Crowley in the box finds Nathan Young Coombs so you can see has taken that starting striker role to make it 2-1 Gomez is going to get the ball in the box is going to drop to De Jong back to Gomez into Trevitt who batters at home for 2-2 and like I said this was an absolute ding dong battle a fantastic game. Dylan Williams getting on the left hand side finds Regis at the far stick and he pokes at home for 3-2 before Robertson finds Greenwood on the left-hand side.
side. He's going to get to the byline, finds Robertson again, drills it in, Smith turns and batters at home to make it 4-2 in a very good, a very convincing first leg. 4-2 away from home, surely heading back to our stadium, we should be able to take a commanding league and head in to the final. And here we are at Meadow Lane and Jody Jones finds a ball over the top to Notts County favourite Macaulay Langstaff who batters at home to make it 5-2 on aggregate but we have been in this position before. Gomez down the line to Adaramola gets the ball in the box and Wooten backs it home for 5-3. A VAR check but nothing coming of it and we are going to go ahead now to the 75th minute when Nathan Young Coons comes on as a super sub and blasts the ball in from quite a ridiculous angle to make it 6-3 on aggregate and a simply fantastic you know aggregate per score line and getting through into the final in such dominating fashion we were going to go ahead and face up against my dream save where we are facing up against Reading who have got a lot of fantastic youngsters and we're certainly going to be a hard opposition to get through well here we are at Wembley and it's going to be a throw in to Crowley Ravan whips it in and Nathan Young Coons in the 90th minute gets the only goal of the game and sends Notts County into championship football in just three seasons one that I'm absolutely buzzing with he got the nod ahead of McCauley Langstaff he played the whole game as well as McCauley Langstaff chomping the bit to get on Young Coombs we stay strong with him and he went ahead and scored the winning goal and as we look at the goal scored this season there was a reason he was the starter 25 goals in 51 starts compared to McCauley Langstaff with just 13 starts and 30 off the bench with 12 goals obviously starting the season injured already having no pre-season to get big old toll on McCauley Langstaff and it's a little bit hard heartbreaking for this rebuild to have the absolute superstar to be out injured for a lot of this rebuild now because from here he's now 29 years of age and maybe his chance at being a superstar in the championship is going to have passed him by we'll have to see what we do in this summer window Dan Crowley with 22 goals and 9 assists Regis and Doe 17 and 5 Dylan Williams 14 and 3 from left back is simply fantastic Sam Mather 10 and 7 Jody Jones 9 and 10 11 assists for Palmer uh, 2 goals and 16 assists for Ben Greenwood and Scott Robinson after his ridiculous Ridiculous 14 goal, 14 a season, assist season last season. Just four goals and seven assists, but still a 6.99 rating is absolutely fantastic. Again, the under 18s are progressing at a very, very good level. Then players, which obviously we have sort of now moved on a little bit from, now we are going to be a championship club, have dropped down to four star potential. But the players like David Jones, who was actually here last season, is now a five star potential player. Benjamin Uwalok is a five star potential player, as is William McNamee, who looks like the first real superstar to come through the academy 17 aggression 12 dribbling 14 determination hopefully he can be our superstar for years to come and well in seven years time he will just be 22 years of age which means for you guys on patreon with this safe file being available over there you might be able to have a prime william nook to me come through the academy and be a superstar if you don't already know these saves are all available on patreon the end of season 10 end of season 5 and end of season 1 will all be there automatically so if there is a save you want to pick up from from this Notts County save you can go ahead and do that on Patreon a massive thank you to the legends on screen right now it helps support me massively as a creator and for just five pounds a month you get access to a whole host of rebuild files which will help you out a hell of a lot now in league one it was not only a fantastic season we also ended up getting to the quarter final of that trophy that we wanted to list the second thing on the list at the start of the season that we said about we managed to get to the quarterfinals of it we lost 2-1 to West Ham which is absolutely heartbreaking but by far our best run yet and Sam Mather managed to get in the joint top goal scorers list so a massive shout out to him and a massive shout out to us here for a fantastic season in the FA Cup we haven't had a season like that in the Carabao Cup you can see we got first rounded here by Sheffield Wednesday and we're not going to go ahead and win the Papa John's trophy either in this rebuild because we got quarterfinals this season by Lincoln City and last season we were semi-finaled I believe so that one we're not going to win the pizza cup but if we could win the fa 
makeup, I'm sure it will all be worth it. The finances are looking okay, but going up into a brand new division with £2,000 in wage budget is going to be certainly, certainly difficult, especially when we look at sort of the detailed stats of our wage performance in this league. We were mid-table, 4.99 million spent per annum, 11th out of 24. Going up to the championship, clubs like QPR, Preston and Rotherham, all with double our money, are going to be on the bottom scale. Clubs coming down from the Premier League are going to have a salary per annum of around £300 million, being around 20 times our budget. So, uh, yeah, this is going to be very difficult to keep this team up in the championship. Maybe that pizza cup will come after all. So let's get into it. Season 4, what signings can we make with a very, very little money we have got? Who had Man City Wonder Kids on their scratch cards? Kai Kai is here, released from Manchester City. He has been allocated an ESC slot. He is injury prone and doesn't like big matches but he's very determined he's very quick he's got great, great dribbling great crossing and great first touch and for the championship should hopefully be a very good player for us I'm a little bit worried he's not going to be a couple of seasons ago over at Birmingham. He scored two goals in just 11 starts. I mean, for us, he is our absolute superstar and everything we are putting our eggs in our basket for. But if it doesn't work out, the other wing is also now very, very strong with Kem Campbell released from Wolverhampton Wanderers, a value of £3.5 million. He enjoys big matches. He's determined and again, very quick, very good crossing, very good dribbling and very good first touch, either footed as well, which is very, very very exciting and they both come pretty much straight into the team Eddie Beach in goal Sweet at right back Fogarty and Cameron still at centre back Williams at left back Robertson and Egan Riley in the end with Kai Kai Campbell Crowley and Langstaff up top again because this time Nathan Coombs has been without us for most of pre-season now with a three week injury after a twisted ankle so maybe Macaulay Langstaff gets that chance after all in the championship the backup still consists of Dylan Berry Namane Sean Grahan uh, Alex Kirk Ben Greenwood, Bajarami, Eli King, Liam Smith, McNamee, uh, Sam Mather, and Nathan Young Coombs. McNamee is the wonder kid that we have spoken about as well, and he is now in the first team to hopefully be a very good backup cam to Dan Crowley. Dan Crowley is at such a high level. I mean, as we look at his stats, he is a very, very good central attack midfielder that I do not need a superstar in there. This guy's got a value of £9 million, and having our wonder kid through the academy be his backup suits me down to a T, and exactly what I would like to to do with this rebuild is bringing them wonder kids and give them the chance when we can as you can see from the club info it has been very 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 difficult to go ahead and improve these finances two star training facilities one star youth facilities and four and a half star youth recruitment is the exact same as it was at the start of the rebuild and it's not really changed anywhere since there in terms of the championship we are predicted to come bottom of the league 150 to one so uh yeah, we are quite far at the bottom as well. So this could be a very, very tough season. I imagine our wage bill is literally pennies compared to everyone else's. And we are £6,500 in the red in the wage bill as well. So we really had no further places to move. This was all of our money. All our eggs have got into this team. Hopefully it's enough to stay in the championship. Well, this was a jump too far for a 30-year-old Macaulay Langstaff for 11 games six goals and one assist is a very poor season but you know shout out to McCauley Langstaff like I said they picked him up from Gateshead in 2022 and he's now finding himself as a championship striker which is very very good and it has helped Notts County rebuild themselves back up the English pyramid so a massive shout out to the legend of McCauley Langstaff but this is the last time he's going to get a mention unless we say that we sold him at the end of this summer rebuild because this season has been decent but not quite what we went ahead and wanted we did manage to stay up in the league which is a good start but 13th place not getting into the playoffs is a little bit stagnant now I like to pride myself that FM is not the hardest game in the world it's just about building a good enough team and the team we built wasn't good enough we obviously know that we had no money in wages the team was definitely weaker than a lot of others in our league but we have a fantastic formation we have you know some decent goal scorers and I think I'm maybe being a little bit harder than us actually 
when you look at the points, we were actually just nine points away from playoffs. So I'm going to shut myself up because we actually made a fantastic signing in Kai Kai. 16 assists and four goals in 45 games is absolutely brilliant coming in for his first season in the championship. And I've just said we've had an awful season. It's really not that bad. It is not the end of the world. It just feels like a little bit stagnant. I suppose when we have a promotion up to League One, playoffs, playoffs, and then winning the playoffs and then coming 13th, it's a little bit frustrating, but it's not the end of the world. We were massively clear of relegation, which is very good to see. And I bet if we check out these team detailed and look at wages, we are massively overperforming our wage bill. Yeah, we are indeed just 5.98 million, not as far as the top on 75 million per annum. So sort of as expected, around 15 times our salary per annum at the top of the league. And where we come in 13th, 19.3 was around four times our salary per annum. So actually, you know what? absolute cap. I was saying at the start of this awful season, genuinely a very, very, very good season. I'm actually quite happy to finish up in 13th place. Obviously, Magoli Langstaff wasn't fantastic, which meant Nathan Young Coombs had to step up yet again. And these stats are looking genuinely very, very good. 22 goals in 40 starts, just a 6.74 average rating, but scoring goals is really what matters as a striker. And the stats actually around as a striker was sixth anticipation, decent finishing composure and pace. He is genuinely a very good striker for you guys to pick up in your lower league saves. And he's not the only one because if you see Kem Campbell get released, make sure you go ahead and pick him up. He's consistent. He loves big matches. And in the season here, he scored 12 goals and eight assists in 44 games around a goal contribution every other game, dropping a 6.88. He was decent in League One last season with Bristol Rovers, but suited our system down to a T. A value now of between two and six million pounds is really really good we could probably do with some of that money so maybe we see a sale come through dan crowley this season and cam again absolutely brilliant 34 starts six goals and seven assists uh, 7.6 million pounds of value 29 years of age maybe he's someone we now look to move on from but again a fantastic player for us a 7.1 average rating is a little bit inconsistent but i tell you what for us in this rebuild mr crowley has been superb scott robertson again very very good uh, dylan williams our left back great james sweet great Great. and James, uh, sorry not James, Eddie Beach in goal has still been very, very good for us. 77 goals conceded in 51 games. Sounds a little bit much, but we are using a very, very attacking formation. We have got, you know, wing backs on attack, pretty much two of the back vibes. And uh, he is doing very good to keep it at this data hub, looking at just 1.48 goals conceded per game. I've seen that a lot higher, if I'm being honest. Uh, so the goalkeeper is doing a great job. FA Cup, we didn't quite manage to compete with the uh, quarterfinals of last season but fifth rounded by Wolves is still very decent. Carabao Cup, again, first rounded. It didn't score a single goal. So uh, we'll leave that one there. Uh, this season's going to be good fun. We're going to see if we can make it up to the next step. And uh, hopefully we can see if we can bring in some brand new signings in terms of transfers. Still only £6,000 in wage budget to go ahead and spend, which isn't a lot, but it means we're at least out of the red. And in terms of finances, we are now up to £7 million in the bank and pretty much all of the net debt cleared, which is fantastic. So we are nearly built as a club to being out of the absolute mud and in to, you know, the clear to go ahead and make as much money as possible. That playoff win we get, hopefully here in the championship, with like a hundred million pounds is going to be sweet, sweet money. And the grind will be worth it. So let's see what summers we can do, what summer signings we can do even for this season five. What an absolute coup of a free agent signing this is. Shola Shoratire has come into the club. And I know this guy is a very, very good championship level central attack midfielder he went ahead and joined Burnley from Manchester United a few seasons ago has played one season in League One didn't play at all in the championship last season for Burnley who were competing in the top of the league but for us here at Notts County he is going to be an absolute superstar great dribbling great first touch great determination and there's going to be a superstar whether it's off the left or in cam to replace Dan Crowley Shola Shoratire is a superstar signing as is Calvin Ramsey released from Liverpool. I'm sure the other one, the kid that's breaking for Liverpool right now, has gone ahead and overtaken Ramsey in the pecking order. So this guy, after being signed for Liverpool from Aberdeen for £4.7 million, joins Notts County on a free signing. 16 determination, great pace, great acceleration, great crossing, great dribbling, and genuinely looks like he could be a very good Premier League right back, let alone Championship. He's extremely consistent. He loves big matches, and if we can steer clear of this injury proneness, he will be one of the 
best right backs we have here at the club for the whole of the rebuild. Uh, I have gone ahead and done some scouting in different nations as well. And as you guys know from the channel, I love going to Africa and picking up some wonder kids. So welcoming our brand new goalkeeper to replace Eddie Beach, Christopher Abubakar. This guy is six foot tall, but 20 determination, 16 natural fitness, decent enough goalkeeping stats at just 19 years of age. Has played 11 games professionally as a goalkeeper for Hearts of Oak over in Ghana, and we found him by seeing that he had youth appearances for Ghana, and that perked me up into thinking he could be a good enough goalkeeper. So we'll see this season. It's a bit of a risk bringing in someone like Bubakar, but I believe in him to be a hero. So he is going to be our starting goalkeeper with Calvin Ramsey at right back, Dilly Williams at left back, two very good attacking wing backs locked in. With Fogarty and Cameron still here as our two centre backs, with Egan Riley and Robertson in DM. Kai Kai at right wing, Kem Campbell at left wing, Dan Crowley at Cam, and Nathan Young Coombs up top. Uh, obviously, we've still got Shadow Shoratire, William Naknami, uh, Sam Mava, and Marshall as the backups. Eli King and Bajrami as the two DMs. Gary Lawler, uh, Anuaha, Sean Grayhan, and James Sweet, and Dylan Barry here as the backup defenders. Anuaha is a player that I've also signed from Nigeria. He is six foot four with 15 jump and reach, so seemed like a very, very good sign to go ahead and make. We signed him from a Czech Republic. He is a Nigerian international and hopefully can be a superstar for us. Uh, finances wise, still around £5 million in the bank. We are completely spent in wage budget yet again. We are loaning out all of the wonder kids that are coming through the academy. We've got a few out on loan already. Someone like Maxi Oyadeli, who we signed this season. David Jones from the first season is now going to go ahead and play, hopefully, for Bradford in League Two. Mark Piszczek, Benjamin Oluch, and Jason Harrington are still here as well, now out on loan. And uh, someone like Sam Jessup has come through the academy a striker with decent potential just no finishing ability whatsoever so we'll see who we can get out of someone like him but the loans are still to go ahead and go but with just two days until our first game of the season it seems like we should start season number five and very similar to last season we have come just outside of the playoffs a little bit more of a point gap as clubs like Brighton and Plymouth pull clear on 95 points Sheffield United Birmingham Norwich and Luton as well were the clear you know best teams in the league with a couple like Fulham missing out on the playoffs derby and then ourselves on 72 points but this season I am absolutely buzzing because guess what's happened ladies and gentlemen we have had a takeover by Abu Day Young to be our brand new chairperson there is 43 million pounds in the bank which means this rebuild has only just got started and in season number five we've got 27 million pounds in transfer budget 90,000 pounds in wage budget I said we needed that that playoff you know game to go ahead and give us all the money we just needed a takeover and mr um abu day young is the hero that has saved Notts county he saw the potential of the oldest club in england and he saw you know what that's something i want to go ahead and do they've got the greatest manager of all time so now we need to build the greatest squad and club of all time we've got a two and a half star training facilities two star youth facilities and four and a half star youth recruitment you best know that's going to fly up because of all this money in the bank that is where I'm looking to invest it. So constantly asking for ball requests, as you can see, I've already done. And hopefully he goes ahead and flies through them and we manage to build a fantastic club here at Notts County. And in terms of actual performance this season, I'm not really too fussed on how we've done because ninth place is ninth place. But Nathan Young Coombs is very good still. Uh, Callum Marshall has been fantastic for us. He was a signing, I believe, a few years ago. He's been very, very good. A good backup striker. Uh, Kem Campbell, 14 and 6. Calvin Ramsey, 16 assists is brilliant at right back with Dan Crowley 6 and 10 now 30 years of age probably time to say goodbye to Dan Crowley and see if we can take some of that 6 million pounds into the bank but it's about to get started season 6 is where this rebuild really takes the next step I mean money wise we are now absolutely set so grab yourself some popcorn if you thought it was interesting up until this point we're now about to get into the superstars joining the club and what you can see from the transfer budget and wage budget I'm not been entirely stupid with the money we have been given we've been fairly fairly clever and we have spent just over nine million pounds out of the 30 million pounds we were given and thomas christensen is the first player i've got ahead and signed this guy i believe is at Udinese in real life and looks like a very very good danish center back 19 jumping reach and six foot six corners should be great fun he is extremely consistent he has 12 heading 13 marking 13 tackling and 15 determination could be a superstar to pick up on your save and we signed him for just 
2.6 million pounds five years in the future so it could be a cheap beast on your save to go ahead and pick up his brand new center back partnership is hopefully going to be him and boyd beatcroft this guy's a wonder kid at reading in real life he has 19 determination 17 tackling 14 marking and 13 heading and looks just incredible with fantastic physical stats he isn't consistent he doesn't like big matches but next to someone like christensen i think he could be a superstar center back and you know progress onto a very very high level uh, darren francois is our first regen we have signed he started off at leighton orient he went alone to uh, king's lear has then gone back to leighton orient had a few decent seasons we've picked him up for 1.7 million pounds because he's got a fantastic pace great natural fitness great balance 16 determination 13 finishing 14 composure at 19 years of age and a value of up to 12 million pounds and again an absolute bargain and someone we could not pass up on our second reading player that we have signed in this reboot we didn't sign him from reading but i know from my time managing reading over on twitch benji purcell was a center mid with very very good potential great determination really well-rounded midfielder overall as a welsh under 21 international we picked him up from Wrexham for eight hundred and fifty thousand pounds and for me an absolute bargain and again trying to be clever bring in a young players which are going to progress with us rather than just going out and spending like five million pounds on like Lloyd Remy, like QPR would have done back in the day. Uh, Mikaze Nagasawa is a Japanese winger. We have gone ahead and signed on your guys' save. This guy will be over at RFS in Latvia, and we've picked him up for just £500,000. And I mean, look at the performance he, performances he has had. 7.38, 7.49, 7.62, 7.68, 7.74, without scoring goals or getting assists. So he must be absolutely fantastic in game with 16 passing, 16 first touch 11 flair 13 decision making decent pace five for seven a little tricky winger who is extremely consistent i'm very excited to see what this guy can go ahead and do in our team a brand new goalkeeper to compete with a boot car is charlie stepford this guy is the six foot four goalkeeper from ajax who in our save has moved over to nottingham forest and looks like a very good backup and hopefully can be a good backup for us as well really fits the uh, english bill when you know in case we get into europe or anything soon he will be a fantastic player for us and uh, that is it in terms of our money signings. The team is looking very, very different from this time last year. Abubakar keeps his place in goal. And of course, Calvin Ramsey and Williams keeps their place at wing backs. We have moved on from Cameron at centre back and finally gone ahead and brought in some brand new ones. So Christensen and Beecroft at centre back with Purcell and Robertson still in DM. Nagasawa at right wing, Kem Campbell at left wing. Shoretire in Cam and Francois up top. Stepford, James Sweet, Egan, Riley Cameron, Kian Best. Tim Oregano Begum is someone else that I brought in on a free signing. Dan Crowley, Kai Kai, and Nathan Coombs are still here. William McNamee as well. You can see some players have gone out on loan, and we are slowly building up a nice pool of Wonder Kids. Like I said, players coming through are sort of at a premium. There's not thousands of them coming through, but they're coming through slowly, and you can see still no improvements just yet to the other Chrome and Youth facilities and training facilities. But I believe they're being built, if I'm not wrong. I don't know if there's a way you can see that. I'm not going to try through and do it but i believe they're being built and they're going to be improved in due course so season six after finishing 13th and 9th after a massive spend nine million pounds brand new owners i imagine we're going to be doing very well this season still predicted down in 19th place i think we're going to absolutely smash it and well with some very very good form throughout the entire season we went ahead and did exactly that we smashed the opposition 91 points and have lifted the challenge championship trophy the 28 29 season is going to be a good one for Notts county amanda brocher the ipswich striker is the top goal scorer in the championship but our brand new signing francois was second on 26 goals dylan williams on 14 assists but us here at Notts county have smashed it 34 goal difference 28 wins 7 draws and 11 losses and as we check out the thing we've been checking out this whole time our net and per you know season still down in 19th place just 14 million pounds a year being spent on them and Sunderland 70 million pounds so massively massively outperforming sort of our wages to our performances and we are playing absolutely fantastic in terms of the cup competitions you know we didn't go ahead and win either of them third rounded in the FA Cup by Brentford third round in the Carabao Cup by Arsenal two teams which are of course better than us but we get to play against next season in the Premier League with a mighty Notts County that's taken us just seven seasons to 
get there. So there is a chance that we could go ahead and win the Premier League by the end of this reboot. You can see we have completed a lot of our improvements. Three and a half star training facilities and four star youth facilities now with a one gold star in youth recruitment finally moving away from that pesky silver stars. Um, so we're doing very well in terms of our first requirement of building the actual class facilities up massively as well. So I'm very happy with that one. Remember, second goal is to win the FA Cup and the main goal is to hopefully win the Premier League by the end of this rebuild. Francois with 26 goals and assists was fantastic. Mikazi Nagasawa, 10 goals and 10 assists is someone you guys need to go and look at in your saves. Like I mentioned, over at Lafia for RFS. See if you find him, go ahead and pick him up. He's an absolute bargain and he's fantastic. Charles Jorotire, 10 and 8. Kem Campbell, 10 and 8 as well. Uh, Christensen, 19 jump and reach, gets 8 goals, which is fantastic. Williams with 16 assists as well is absolutely brilliant. And Calvin Ramsey with 3 goals and 8 assists. Also just as superb. And we have built a very, very strong side. And one I'm very, very happy with to go into the Premier League. Now, finances wise, we are still quite rich. £27 million to go ahead and spend. And £400,000 in wage budget, which would uh, pretty much, was it treble? Sorry, treble our current wage budget, which is ridiculous if we go ahead and spend all that. Uh, you can see this season was quite an expensive one, but winning the championship, we should now be very, very rich. So strap yourselves in because the signings are about to get mental. Season seven, let's see who we bring in. So we spent our whole 28 million pounds and 16 million of it was one Nathan Zeze. This guy is a fantastic young French centre-back, which again, you guys should be looking at on your saves. In the save, he starts at Nantes in France. He moves over to Fulham in this save. Then went on loan to Borussia Dortmund and smashed it. And they spent 30, well, no, 23 million pounds to move back to Nice over in France. Didn't play too much and has now moved to us for 15 million pounds. So he's played 44 games in his career and somehow mustered up a 59 million pound, you know, transfer expenditure. He is worth 25 million. He is a four and a half star current ability player, which just shows the level he is at compared to the rest of our squad. He is consistent. He looks absolutely fantastic and I'm sure he is going to be a superstar for us. And we have brought in a brand new centre back again to probably be a backup to where with him, so no, no, let's say will be a starter, be a backup to him is Abdallah Kamal from Egypt. Again, like I said, scouting in Africa is a massive thing I like to do. This guy is extremely consistent. He's six foot seven with 18 jumping reach. So him and Christensen, if they start together, could be a bit of a uh, issue for other teams defending set pieces. He is fantastic. 19 determination and 18 bravery, as well as that incredible heading. So hopefully Abdullah Kamal should be fantastic. Just 2.5 million pounds from Smua in Egypt after starting at El Raja. Uh, we've gone ahead and signed a left back from Blackburn. His name is Peter Malam. This guy is a good backup to Dylan Williams. It's quite expensive at 8.75 million pounds, but fits the English build. 20 years of age, under 21 cap, 16 leadership, 16 bravery, great physicals and can cross a ball sort of as well. Decent defensively, so should be a very good option for us in the future. Uh, Jun Kie Young is someone I have signed from uh, Asia. 20 determination, 18 aggression, 16 technique. From our Asian scouting, he is a South Korean uh, under 20s international. 500,000 pounds is all we have spent on him and he is absolutely fantastic as well. Very consistent. Uh, pretty much either footed, very good on the ball, very good aggression, which we love in a ball midfielder. So hopefully he can have a season a bit like Robertson with 14 goals and 14 assists. And someone which in your save is going to be available for you guys to go ahead and pick up is Siambonga Mabenya from South Africa. 15 caps and 4 goals for South Africa in this save. And for us, he looks absolutely brilliant. He is eager footed, 17 balance, 16 dribbling, 15 finishing, 15 determination and great physicals. He is just 5 foot 4, so a little, you know, South African messy regen, if you will. But at your save, we'll start over at uh, Sundowns. He went from the School of Excellence to there. And at last season, South Africa had his breakout season, 29 games with 20 goals and a 7.6. Hence why we have noticed him at £350,000. Picked him up already a value of 9 million. Should be a superstar for us. And that is it in terms of our signings other than one last man who's going to be the backup striker to Francois who smashed it last season. That is Onesime Zimawanga from uh, PSV actually. This guy looks brilliant. A very good player and again is a real life player so will be on your saves. Just £500,000 is all we spent on him. He's been flitting between the PSV side and the young PSV side and he's very consistent. He loves big matches. 17 natural fitness, 14 determination, 14 finishing and a decent enough acceleration.
acceleration and pace as well. An under 20 international for Holland. So should be a very, very good player. And it leaves our team looking like so. Abubakar still in goal with Ramsey and Williams as the two wing backs. Zeze and Kamal as centre back with Benji Purcell and brand new ball midfielder Jun Suk Young. Uh, is being trained into being a DM rather than a centre mid. So hence the Silver Stars. We'll get rid of that very shortly. And Mabania on the right wing, Campbell on the left wing, Shuratiri in Cam and Francois up front. Uh, backups wise, Charlie Stepford, James Sweet, B. Croft, Christensen, Peter Malum, Egan Riley, David Jones, who has come through the academy and actually been a very good wonder kid. Still five star potential on him. And he was here from season number one's uh, youth intake. So very happy that we've managed to progress someone like David Jones through the uh, sort of loan system, which is great. And uh, Nagasawa, Mukdemi, Olush, and Zimwanga. Olush and Mukdemi also both from the youth system. So it shows we are developing players through these sorts of facilities. We are still bringing through potentially Premier League level players, which is absolutely brilliant. So let's see. We are predicted to finish 20 for the Premier League. As you can imagine, we are going to be the worst team in this league by quite some distance, a thousand to one. But with a tactic like this, with the players we've signed in positions, which I believe are key positions with pace, attacking purpose in that front three, and a fantastic centre back partnership of Zeze and Kamal, can we keep this Notts County side up in our first season in the Premier League? Well, I tell you what, it was an incredibly rough start to life in the Premier League, but by the end of the season, we managed to turn it round and keep our survival in the Premier League. 12th place is actually very, very good. Six points above the Magic 40 as well. So 46 points, a negative seven goal difference, but pretty much a mid-table uh, Premier League side and uh, just three points behind uh, Manchester United, who in 2030 finished 11th with minus 15 goal difference. Um, so as a United fan, we'll not talk about that, but a fantastic season for us here at Notts County. Arsenal winning the Premier League. We can see here on the right-hand side, it's been Manchester City dominance uh, as per usual in FM. Liverpool also with a title in there and Arsenal finally breaking a four-year spell of Manchester City uh, dominance. Erling Haaland is still here, of course, absolutely smashing it, 29 years of age. Them stats are not fair. Willie Nonto also smashing it at Leeds and Albert Ruiz at West Ham. We've got no one on that list. We have got three players on the yellow cards list. Uh, Dylan Williams, Cameron Ramsey and Egan Riley because we've come into this league as complete underdogs, a team whose money is nowhere near everyone else's. 20th place with £26 million being spent in wages per year. Third less than 19th place Bournemouth and, you know, 11, 13, 14, 15 times left than the likes of Arsenal, Man City and Newcastle. So we're doing very well keeping up with the teams. I mean, 12th place Leeds is where we finished six times more than us in terms of wages. So we're doing very, very good, which I'm very, very happy with. Finances wise, we are now looking nice and positive. £69 million in overall balance and in terms of transfer budget, the you know new owner has been very, very nice. We have stayed up. So he is 60 million quid and 100,000 pounds in wage budget, which should allow us to buy some fantastic players to add into this already very, very good side. Adding to the likes of Darren Francois, who scored 12 goals in 38 games. Siomba Mabenga with eight goals and three assists in his first season of the coming from South African football, I have to say is absolutely brilliant. Um, he is not enjoying it and he's not really going up in ratings at all, but I think that's a fantastic first season for him. Um, it says he's a decent League One player. I simply don't believe that. I have said many, many times recently do not listen to the star ratings because they mean a lot less than you think a player with 16 dribbling 15 finishing 15 determination and that pace playing in the wing cutting inside will always be absolutely fantastic so I'm very very happy with that signing still a bargain at 350k regardless Oshola Jorotire is now a Premier League player eight goals and eight assists and Kem Campbell with a five and a five as well a very very good first season in the Premier League season eight can we make the step up from 12th place you know maybe just outside of Europe season Season 9, get into Europe and Season 10 win at the Premier League. That is going to be the dream. Can we do it? What signings are we going to make for Season 8? A Hungarian striker with 16 finishing and 18 determinations signed from the Puskas Academy. Again, it's not something you had on the bingo card, but this guy, Dominic Juhos, looks absolutely fantastic. He's already made five caps for Hungary at 18 years of age with two goals. And if you haven't already in your saves, look at the Puskas Academia because there could be some superstars in your saves just like Dominico Juhos now I'm not going to go through every single signing because at this point they're pretty much all regens I will show you the real guys we signed uh, David Beasley's number one we get ahead and signed an English cam from Coventry for 8.5 million pounds stats looks very very good so hopefully he can be great for us uh, Flavio Gonzalez we signed for 600,000 pounds is a real life player from 
PSP Florencia in Portugal. Jorge Pintos is a young Argentine DM signed for three and a half million pounds from Quilelmes, so hopefully he'll be very good. Uh, Aaron Stock Rydell was from RC uh, Norgesland in Denmark. 16 dribbling, 16 flair, great agility, great pace, great determination. Five foot nine, very right footed, but from the left hand side, cutting in could be a superstar. And again, could be picked up on your saves as a real life player. And the last one is Haruma in Yarda to probably come in and replace Abubakar in go and finish off that experiment. I mean, this guy was 4.1 million pounds of a value now of 74 million. He loves big matches and is hopefully going to be a superstar is the Japanese number one at just 22 years of age. The team is taken on leaps and bounds, but like I say, it is now pretty much full of regens with sprinkled in real players in there. So in Yada, Ramsey, Malam come out and Zeze make up the back line with Jean CQ and Purcell in DM. Stock Rydell and Goncalves as the wingers of Beasley in Cam and Francois up top. Abubakar, Christensen, Beecroft, Williams, David Jones, Jorge Pintos, Mabena, uh, William McNamee, Aluch, Junhos as the backup striker. Again, so many players here which are coming through the academy which are all got bids up to go on loan which is the play to go ahead and do try and get them out on loan and see if they can go and progress elsewhere and if they absolutely smash it bring them back and use them the under 18s there's not too many players in here they've all been moved up to the first team already youth facilities now four star train facilities four star and that youth recruitment is the next thing that needs to go up from one star to hopefully two or three by the end of this rebuild the owner loves the club the value of the club is now 560 million which is ridiculous such a big growth from the start of this rebuild and social media wise i think that matters 430k followers which is lovely so let's see what we can do our second season in the premier league season number eight it'll be good to see if we can lift the trophy well manchester city haven't won an fa cup this whole time but of course here in season number eight we meet them in the semi-finals where they batter us 4-1 and erling Haaland grabs a hat trick and it's the first time they win the fa cup since the start of this rebuild and just of course it is now they become good when we're trying to lift the trophy so we still haven't ticked off box number one in this rebuild of winning the FA Cup so that is still hopefully to come in this rebuild the league was very very similar to last season again pretty much no threat of relegation 48 points a negative six goal difference but I tell you what we have massively improved as a team the players we've been signing have been at the age of 18 to 23 for pretty much the whole of this rebuild so our team is now looking very very strong if we look to sort of the report system and looking at the potential of them all as well now a 23 year old goalkeeper of a four star uh, ability three and a half star 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 all under 30 three star five star potential with our puss cash striker regen dominic junhos who scored 13 goals in 32 starts in his first season in the premier league which is absolutely fantastic uh john say kyung with a four star potential still who hey pintos five star david beasley five star so we are massively building this squad to be at a superstar level so i'm not too fussed that we haven't gone ahead and smashed it in the league this season we are still 18 points away from getting into european places but that is quite easily made up i think we can do that and like i said with the progression we are making with our wonder kids we are going to get there much sooner than expected Carabao cup we were fourth rounded also by manchester city so a bit unlucky to lose both times the team which have won eight of the was the seven of the eight seasons so far in this league so of course we go ahead and face them twice again though money wise we are incredibly rich, uh, rich, which is great to see 110 million pounds in the bank. And the youth recruitment is now up to two and a half stars. The training facilities at four and a half stars. So I think it's time we can tick the first one off the list. We have improved the club from a four and a half star silver youth recruitment to two and a half star in gold. It's still two seasons to see if we can set that to another level. Uh, youth facilities were one star, now four star. And training facilities were two star, now four and a half star. Some of the best in the world. We're still at Meadow Lane, which is great as well i don't really want to move from there so good that we are keeping the same stadium we have absolutely smashed it so far a bit of a, a stagnant season in terms of our league position and finish but as a club we are growing massively let's fire straight into it let's not waste any time season nine just four signings for this summer and number one was simon roger banza a german international with five star potential signed from manchester city i'm going ahead and i'm picking up their wonder kids because they keep being Beating us and we can not have that he looks absolutely brilliant very determined again it'll be great for you guys on patreon mr simon looks fantastic uh, adrian rodriguez is a winger i've signed from atl tucuman i believe in argentina uh, this guy was once in the likes of psg manchester city liverpool manchester united but picked notts county because he knows we are going to be a fantastic
Leipzig side. £45 million pounds in value. The plan is for him to play him on the wing and allow Junhos to keep that striker spot. He is very, very consistent. He looks absolutely fantastic and should hopefully go out there and absolutely smash him for us. A bargain of £7 million. Pounds. Ronnie Octavio is a DM sign from Olympic Leon. Again, a very, very good signing. Just four-star potential, but 21 years of age with these sort of technical abilities. Great physical stats, great mental stats, all in the blue apart from bravery. Six foot two. He is a superstar. And the last signing is Damian Zalewski. He looks like a very good wing back. Uh, great determination, great pace, great marking, tackling and heading. And he's just not 18 years of age. Signed from Everson to be a backup to Calvin Ramsey, who is still our starting right back with Malam at left back, Banza and Zeze at centre back, Inyada in goal, Octavia and Pintos in DM, Stoic Rydal in right wing, Rodriguez left wing, Beasley in cam and Juhos up top, Abubakar, Zaluski, Kamal, Christensen, Williams, Purcell, uh, Jean Q, uh, Olush, Mugnami, Gon Calvez and Francois as our backups. We are a fantastic team. Let's get into it. Season 9, can we finally lift the trophy? We didn't for season 8. Surely season 9 we lift the trophy. Three poxy points outside of Europe is incredibly, incredibly frustrating. You know what? Without Brentford probably winning the Conference League and Everton winning a Carabao Cup or something, we probably would have been in Europe because there's so many teams which are in Europe that we just deserve to be there. 58 points, a positive 8 goal difference. Rodriguez of 13 assists. Haaland, the robot, smashing it for Manchester City. And we couldn't catch a break in the Cups either. Fifth round in the FA Cup by Liverpool who end up finishing in 7th and semi-final in the Carabao Cup which is the best we have done in this competition by far by Arsenal who of course went on to lose to Liverpool in the final so still no competitions uh, no trophies won sorry apart from the Championship and League 2 and we're about to go in to season at number 10 I feel like we have not won the treble we have not won the Premier League we have not won the FA Cup we've only ticked off building up the actual squad and the actual club so far off of our ticking at the 3 we've just got one season to go uh, goals have been nicely shared out between the front three. I mean, even Siambo Bonga and uh, Benia has really progressed this season. Had 13 goals and five assists and 7.05 in the Premier League. A very good one for him. Darren Francois, 13 and four. Uh, Dominic Juhos with just nine goals and one assist. And Rodriguez, just seven goals and 13 assists. Neither of them absolutely splashing it as I hoped they would. So uh, a bit of a disappointing season in terms of sort of how the players have actually gone ahead and performed. But you know what? With the age profile of this squad, we've got one player at 30 who was a backup centre back these lot who were all fantastic at 27 and under and from 26 and under so much potential I'm going to go ahead and not make a single signing for this summer we've got 64 million pounds in the bank not a lot of wage budget to move into finances wise we're at steady 123 million pounds info wise the club now three and a half star youth recruitments so we have made another jump up in that and five star training facilities so I think this season we can make a big step no signings Season 10. Let's get into it. I guarantee you this is going to be a big season. We had 12 points gained this season based on last season, just on players getting older. This season, another 12 points, 72 points. We'll see us finish in third. So let's see if that can be the case. And when I bring you back in the semi-finals of the FA Cup, because Dominic Juhos gets us off to a fantastic start today against Brighton Hove Albion. David Beasley sticks at home from the spot to make it 2-0. And a third is going to come from a ball from Octavia to Matt. Allen whipped into Dominic Juhos, who takes his time, but batters at home to make it 3-0, winning the semi-finals of the FA Cup and setting up an FA Cup final against Manchester City, who beat Bournemouth 3-0, setting up a ridiculous final. We have been stopped by City so much in recent years. Whether it's the Carabao Cup, whether it's the FA Cup, they have been in our way. And we set up the first goal, 82nd minute, Beasley to Malham. Beasley going into the box, finds an absolute screamer into the top corner to make it 1-0. And in the 93rd minute, a Rico Lewis own goal from a Benna shot makes us FA Cup winners. And we have ticked off number one on the list, winning the FA Cup 140 years after they've done it in 1894. Here in 2033, 139 years later, 
Notts County lift their second FA Cup. So that's two ticks out of three. Did we manage to go ahead and have a meteoric rise into Premier League champions? Not quite. That had been the fairy tale ending, but Manchester City on 90 points absolutely smashed it. But I tell you what, 73 points, a 29 goal difference, 23 goal wins, four draws, 11 losses. Champions League football for the end of season number 10 is absolutely fantastic and sets up a genuinely really good task for you guys over on Patreon to see if you can make this Notts County team champions of, you know, the world from being a team which, you know, we're down in League 2, having absolutely no hope. We have now got some of the best training facilities, the best youth facilities, the best youth recruitment in the world. 2.7 million social media followers still at the wonderful Meadow Lane. A 1.3 billion value. A fantastic rebuild. My favourite I have ever done. Again, looking at the players and who we've actually got and who has grown. David Beasley this season, we signed from Coventry has been ridiculous 20 goals and 12 assists has turned in to a superstar 18 determination so many gold attributes in there is ridiculous adrian rodriguez at left wing has been fantastic this season 9 and 17 18 goals for the puss man dominic juhos again so many golden stats in there he will be one of the best strikers in the world 10 for darren francois 12 assists for peter malam as well and overall a rebuild which i'm very very proud of very very happy with there is again some decent one the kids coming through the academy as there of course would be Enoch Aggieman is the last man four and a half star potential with 14 determination in DM could be a superstar in this team alone we have uh, the legend that is William Nuknami here in the club 12 games off the bench come through the Notts County Academy we've got David Jones DM three starts eight and got off the bench and with uh, a goal and three assists has been very good through the academy um, we have had anyone else through the academy not that's had a massive massive impact Benjamin Aluch has been okay, but not absolutely fantastic. Um, but through the academy, nonetheless, very, very, very impressive. Very happy with the Notts County rebuild. This is the first 10 season rebuild I have done since we rebuilt the worst team in England from the worst team in England to Champions League winners. That rebuild is going to be linked just down there. If you enjoyed this longer style of rebuild, February is going to be absolutely full of them. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll speak to you next time.